Welcome friends to Technology channel. Uh, today we will discuss about BOE and little bit uh, theoretical concept about it and I will also give some demo about how uh, this instance and how the variables are defined and how what are the life cycle of it and how what are the data we can change. So this is very interesting to understand. So for example in a tutorial this is the TN hyphen app and we can access the element over here and also we can create the property over in this uh, constructor as a, a data right so we can assign any object and also inside above this in the global scope or in the local scope, we can define any this kind of object in other place for example let me define a local data and those uh, two variable are tightly coupled with each other so that means if you change uh, local data then automatically this uh, value in the data will change for example if we define name over here and in later point of time we have changed this name sorry for that so this we change this name then this automatically the data will be getting changed so let me uh, show some example so what I'm trying to explain is that let's say in this uh, section we create a variable local data and name we mention as mark okay and here we can get the assign this property local data and as I explained earlier so we can access this property uh, is name so this would display the mark okay and also uh, i have mentioned right we can create the method to change this uh, properties and we can create as in a model so for example we can define this input ng uh, so not ng v hyphen model is equal to inside this name so we can you know create a input element and we can bind to this name if you change you know Steve so this is value is getting changed and one interesting thing to note is this particular local variable even though we assign to the data so it is very tightly coupled over here let me create any one more function change me okay and this is in any normal uh, JavaScript function and I can access this local data name so here we can see uh, give any Donald okay now let me uh, create a button over here any place we can create inside the scope or outside the scope let me create a button over here and I, I can create a on click handler and call this uh, function oh, sorry change name so let me reload it so this change name came if I click over here this is changing to Donald so this particular data even though we assign so they will uh, be referenced with each other they won't be copied and if we change so for example if you change this data so this value will also getting changed okay for example uh, let me uh, make some alert statement alert local data dot name okay now let me reload this phase okay if I change this it is showing as mark right this is because the initial value is mark but let me change this this data by this BOE to Steve okay now let me click on this Steve okay so even though we change this data so this is also getting modified but one thing to notice but once we bind it if we uh, assign some variable uh, in this ID or age so this won't be get reflected over here okay so in this particular data we can uh, access using the VM uh, or uh, which is this app variable means app we define over here so anywhere app dot name also we can access for example I think I created variable over here so it may not work uh, let me try it uh, okay just I initialize it over here okay up so up dot uh, name I think it should work uh, let me reload this uh, 
Donald. So I'm trying to access this app dot name. Yeah, so Donald, it is coming. So this using this variable, even though it is a new VUE, and you can see this, we have the property as element data, but we can access these properties of this local data, whatever is in the data, using that app dot name, not app dot data dot name. Okay, this is very important distinction to note over here. So if we want to access this element, this element we can access using a dollar symbol up dot and element. But this is not will print this one. This will refer to that that total element of it, like jQuery object. Let me reload it. So see, this is an HTML element. Okay. So this you should remember, and we can you know access this data. This data will be the object, uh, the local object. So let me reload it. This is an object. Let let uh, instead of doing this alert like this, we can do JSON dot stringify. So it, this JSON dot stringify will uh, help us to print a little bit in a better format. So we can access app with using the dollar symbol and data. So this will the entire data dump we can take anywhere. See the name is Mark. If we add some other field like for example A's uh, 23. So let me reload it. A's is 23. Okay. So this is how uh, the interrelation happened between the local data and the data. Okay. Also, there is one very important uh, functionality which you can use in most of the places. Let's say app application. So we can use a watch. Okay, watch means it will monitor a variable. So we have a two variable name and is. Let's say we put you know we we'll want to monitor the name object, name value or attribute. Okay, then we can uh, define a callback function. So here we can say new value old value so let me just uh, print it i usually prefer this console.log uh, but uh, never mind so i'll try to create something i'll just change this uh, somewhere so that next time we can see new value for now it should be fine all value okay so what it actually do it will monitor this name if anybody is changed if you change over here or something like that so this will be alerting so instead of change me if you click on the button we change right so let us try to change it here uh, this or not this directly we can access local data dot name okay so name we are monitoring right from here we can uh, clinton so we, we change this name so initially we assign this mark then we define a variable over here so that we can access in the later phase of time. So I have created a view instance. So if you click this button, so this name will be changed and this alert should be popped up and it should display my, you know, uh, new name and old value. So let us see if it's working or not. Let me reload the space. This Clinton. Okay. Unfortunately, this watch is not working. Okay, I think this uh, piece of code is not executed. Let me try to move over here or wherever because it is executed before this app is uh, instance is created because only the space will because it will run the sequentially, right? So this register before we created this app. So after this app, we create a constructor, then only I'll uh, do watch on this variable. So it should work fine now. So a new and all value initially it will define as mark. Once I click this button, it will change to Clinton and it should display the Clinton. Okay. So now let me reload it. So mark is displayed. So if I change this name, so this Clinton is changed. So the new value is Clinton, all value is mark. Similarly, if you want to change here, so even I press single character S new value and all value is Clinton. Okay. Uh, thanks very much guys for watching this videos uh, if you like uh, kindly like my videos also subscribe to it so that you will get notifications about my future videos i want to create regularly about all the tutorials so you can learn more about visual studios i created a couple of them tutorial if you're new to html css i am also planning to create 
so also kindly sir uh, in twitter and facebook and feel free to help me guys thanks very much have a great day ahead bye bye